Hello everybody and welcome to The Real Housewives Edit. My name is Elle and I am here to talk about the two loves of my life, editing and housewives. If you are watching this video right now, it is likely because I am in the hospital having a baby. I shot a few videos in advance for you guys because I personally, when I listen to a podcast or I have a YouTube channel that I subscribe to, when they take a vacation or decide you know, to take some time for themselves or whatever, I feel personally attacked. Even while I am in the hospital taking care of my newborn, I am also taking care of all of you. I do want to thank you for subscribing and for commenting. Your guys' comments are the best. I try to get to all of them. I do get to all of them. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time, but please comment your opinion below. And please remember, we only do classy comments on this channel. That means we are shady, not mean. We are passive aggressive, not aggressive. And we don't talk about looks, kids, or anything that people can't really help. We really appreciate appreciate these ladies for putting themselves out there for us every single week for our enjoyment. So let's keep it classy. Today we are going to talk about a scene that was highly requested by all of you to break down in an editing sense, and that is Scary Island from Real Housewives of New York. For so many reasons, I love this scene, and I know that you guys too, so let's just jump right into it. No, you are allowed to like the food. I just don't, I want you to like this food today. I've worked in restaurants. I didn't know this. Were you a hooker? No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> The real hookers are the people that want to come there and see the other famous people. Okay, so I want to start with, I started kind of midway through because it was kind of a long scene, but I started in the part where it starts to kind of ramp up. Now, of course, remember this is earlier seasons, Real Housewives of New York. So there's a little bit less producing going on than there is now in all of the franchises. I don't mind the producing. I don't mind the fancy editing, but if you do watch any throwback seasons, you'll know what I mean. It's just a little bit more kind of raw and bare. So right now, I think there might be a little music, but it's nothing major. The one thing I do want you to notice though, they're kind of talking like Sonia and Bethany are talking. And then they put this little clip of Kelly kind of sniffing her hair. Now, if you guys have watched my channel for a while, you know that every single shot that they use is for a purpose. Nothing is wasted. And this shot right here is no exception. The scene is about to kind of ramp up with Kelly's um, uh, eccentricities, I can say. She's sniffing her hair, which is just sort of like a quirky thing in the middle of this conversation, but it does kind of give us some foreshadowing, like, is she like loading? <laughs> like, what's happening here? So let's keep watching. People, so, you know, I actually, I've been so busy this trip, you really haven't listened to any of my messages. Well, I thought I'd hear from Jill to tell you the truth. You haven't heard from her since you've been here? No, I would think she'd say, I'm sorry, I can't be here. Are you so here? again, they're like, it's very, very subtle, but there's just these little shots that they're putting in of Kelly. They're just off. And if you guys <laughs> know and love this season, you you might feel the same way as I do, which there was just something off. I'm not like commenting on her mental health or anything like that, but th she had these really lucid, like cool moments. And then she would all of a sudden, there were just these weird moments. So we're starting to see a couple of those weird moments. And trust me, the editors are putting in those moments and those little reaction shots without her saying anything on purpose. Are you having a good time? Something. Did anyone else hear from her? No. I, I didn't. I don't think I did. The <laughs> only thing that Jill keeps asking me is if Bethany is well. She's worried about Bethany. So she's not here. You asked me, and I'm telling you the facts. I'll give you the facts. You want the facts? Those are the facts. Who cares? She's not thinking about Bethany. She's thinking about herself. Okay, so I want you guys to listen to the music. Of course, you guys know that music plays such a big part in these scenes. The music here is just off as well if bethany is well she's worried about bethany so she's not here you asked me and i'm telling you the facts it's not really like building yet it's not really like going like a train like in some of the other stuff it's not suspenseful it's kind of just a little bit quirky and weird and it's pretty low like it's hard to hear when you get that sort of music especially when the conversation is starting to turn us as an audience are being cued like okay, wait, something's weird right now. They're trying to set you off kilter a little bit so that you're like, okay, wait, am I about to enter like a house of fun mirrors or whatever, which is kind of what you are doing. <laughs> but she's thinking about herself. She's I'm sorry, Ramona, stupid. this isn't about you. She's thinking about I didn't about say it was she's about me. She's asking me I, about I'm only you. Saying this is not, I'm only this is not a forum. Is it, you, I'm not, this is a forum. If you're a ladder, it doesn't mean you're right. No one's attacking 
attacking you. She's just saying. I'm not saying she's attacking me. I'm not saying. So this is a really common scene. You know, you'll see it in movies. You'll see it in reality shows. Basically, you have four women and they each have their own shots. So you have Ramona in a single shot. You have Kelly in a single shot. You have Bethany in a single shot. And you have Sonia in a single shot. It's hard to edit these types of scenes, especially when you have women speaking over each other so much in this conversation. You have to get shots of the people who are actually talking, but also you have to get reaction shots. You guys have seen this in other episodes episodes I've broken down where sometimes they'll split the screen because they're like, I need the reaction and I need to get the person's face while they're speaking. But you can see here, they're jumping around quite a bit again, doing the same thing that the music is doing and the reaction shots of Kelly were doing previous to kind of set us off balance because what we're about to go down is off balance. I'm not acknowledging that. I'm saying that she's asking me about you and I'm saying she's well. You're not letting her talk. There is no conversation. Welcome to Bethany's when world of like how people like are asking about her. Between you two. Kelly was just trying to dominate the Okay, so then we have this little shot of Ramona doing this sort of like, oh my gosh, like this is kooky. We got the music that's still a little bit kooky. We have Kelly talking and then you can also hear Sonia talking in the background. Welcome to Bethany's when world of like how people like are asking about her. Between you two. Remember, all of these ladies are individually mic'd and they also have like a boom overhead mic. Individual Individual mics, they are great because you can actually, you know, if Sonia and Kelly are talking, they can pull Sonia's mic out. But you also are going to get some of Sonia talking feeding in on Kelly's mic. So you can almost hear what Sonia is saying in the background, but obviously they didn't find it interesting or compelling or necessary enough to put into this scene. It's just a scene where there's people around a table having a conversation and the editors have to pick what's most compelling. And so it's really important that you guys know that every single shot in here, every reaction, every single word, these are all important to the actual storyline. Dominate the conversation. She didn't want anyone else to talk but her. You know, there's a certain etiquette when you're with other people at a dinner, you give everyone a chance to speak, but she wasn't doing any of that. This is like white noise. This is like all white noise. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna check in with a couple things here. One thing is that the confessionals, oh my gosh, how far have the confessionals come? Just the camera quality in general is so different than it is now. And then also the backgrounds. Remember the backgrounds now, they're just sitting on a green screen and they do the house in the background. The reason they do this, if you guys actually care, is just really cost. Going to Ramona's house and shooting, or any of these ladies' houses and shooting with their house in the background, is not only costly to get all the equipment there and set up everything and get a crew there, but also there's so many unknown factors when you actually go to a location. Sound, lighting, are people gonna be walking in and out? Are neighbors going to be loud? Is there gonna be street construction? There's so much that goes on and goes into actually shooting. The worst thing you can have when shooting are unknowns. So by doing the green screen, I'm sure you guys follow accounts on Instagram and you see the ladies actually like sitting in front of the green screen saying, you know, I shot my confessionals today and they're always in front of like a green screen. They just do that because it's just so much easier to just set up one green screen in a studio that has controlled sound. You know, it's usually these studios are like pretty far out away from lots of general population. So there's not a ton of unknown noise. You know, they're all, you know, insulated for sound. The lighting is there. They can have the ladies come in one at a time and it's just so much more cost effective and just takes out a lot of the unknowns, which is really, you know, the enemy of shooting anything. So all that aside, you can see in these confessionals, like, you know, Ramona, obviously there's the camera quality difference, but also the background is super blurry. You can't really see what's back there. Obviously they're doing this for sort of an effect. I kind of like what they're doing now where you can actually see the setting that they're in. It's very nice. I just like pointing those little things out. The other thing I just want to comment on is Ramona's confessional is talking about how Kelly is dominating the conversation and won't let anyone talk, but then they cut to Kelly and what is Kelly talking about? This is like white noise. This is like all, is. Is all white noise. Don't Basically saying like everyone's talking, it's just like white noise. So again, this is building this storyline here that like, not I'm not saying this, but in the edit they're saying, Kelly crazy, everyone else is not, <laughs> you know? <laughs> because Ramona's saying, gosh, she won't stop talking. And then they cut to Kelly and she's like, you guys won't stop talking. They cut those things very close together because they do want to build this narrative that Kelly's sort of 
the train going up the hill that we don't know where it's leading to. She's like, all, it is. It is. all white noise. Don't say anything. All you know, time out. Time out. It's a time out. It's a time out. It's a time out. It's a time out. If we're white noise, we're then, white noise. then you be white noise too. Okay, great. Let me just text. Good, Alex. Bethany, I love you. I know we had this little altercation on the Brooklyn Bridge. You did? We did. Oh. And I, I want to actually formally apologize for I don't know that. what happened. What are you talking know. about now? I, I do. I really do. Are you going to sit on her lap? Just, it's just so interesting that they don't, they haven't given Alex much screen time. Alex is like seriously one of my favorite housewives ever. She was a quirky with issues beyond belief. Oh my gosh, I miss her. Um, I know she's in Australia, like in law school or something with her husband. But anyway, they haven't really cut to her a lot. And you know, there's no real reason why, like we can all speculate why, but usually it's just because she's not going to be a big part of this uh, storyline moving forward. As we all know, it really is kind of, it's definitely about Kelly, but it really is kind of between Kelly and Bethany. Uh, just, can you just leave us alone? Are you guys having a moment? Are you guys gonna make out with the tongue? Okay, I have a comment. I have something uh, important to say. I don't care. Okay. So a little comic moment there, right? Kelly says, are you guys gonna make out? And then they sort of stop the music. Make out with the tongue? Bethany and Ramona look at each other and it's almost like a wink and a nod to us, like, but there are they actually thinking about it? Although we know they're not. I don't care. We need a freaking timeout. Okay. No. I don't want a timeout. I want you to zip it. No. You know what? Guess what? This is about Ramona. I have this something really Ramona important right to say now. to her. If you don't want to listen, wait. Are you going to gonna apologize don't. for crying no, this is about or for making right her now. cry? You know okay. What? So now we're starting to get a little bit more disjointed. <laughs> like Ramona, I don't think was really talking, and all of a sudden Kelly's like, "I need you to zip it." So we're obviously like the train is going off the tracks, and you guys can hear it in the music the train in the music is starting to ramp up. No, you know what? Guess what? This is about Ramona. I have something really Ramona important Ramona to say to her. If you don't want to listen Wait, to me- are you going to apologize for no, crying? We as an audience are being cued. Things are spinning out of control. She made her cry. Listen. She made her cry. Can, can I say- this? Okay, okay. So you so made so Bethany so cry. Can you, can you take her I away? can't diffuse her anymore. You okay, have so to- we, You and I have to go somewhere. Come here, come on. I gotta talk right. to you. Yeah, you guys go in an intimate moment. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, kiss. you too. Good. You will make love too. Okay, with the tongue. Right. Go ahead, guys. Maybe that's yeah. what you do. Bye. That's what I do? I Maybe. Kiss. I can't even diffuse you anymore. Okay. Right. Please don't abandon me. Finally, everyone's turned the same channel on. No, I'm just okay. saying, do you know? Just say okay. it to me. Okay. okay. So all of that sort of madness ensues. And then of course, you know, this is sort of a break in the action. Remember we were, we were going on the train. We were heading up crazy island. And then of course, Bethany and Ramona kind of take a step away. And actually, you know, as we've talked about before, this actually does break the tension a little bit because we're pulling Bethany away from Kelly. Now, I just want you guys to feel what you feel in this moment right here. It's almost like, the way that we as people perceive danger. It's like danger, 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 danger. And then, you know, say whatever you're scared of, like turns the corner or takes, you know, drives away or whatever. You're like, ah, there's a relief. There should be a slight bit of relief in your body right now as you're watching this. It's so strange to say that because it's only just like an argument. But as soon as Bethany is taken away from the table, there's a slight relief that you're going to have, but you're also going to be like, wait, I want that back. I want her to go back to the table, right? You guys should all be feeling that right now. Like, what, what, why are you leaving the table? It was just starting to get good. No, I'm just okay. saying, do you know? Just say okay. it to me. I've always been right about everything I've said. You've always been right, okay? Thank because, you. Because let me tell you something. She's so nuts, okay? It's now, not, by the way, okay, I have you know to, it's almost scary. I something's try, wrong. I try, okay, listen, I'm I don't think it's, I think something's wrong with her. I, 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 it must be. She goes from here to here. She turns around. She's this way and then she's another person. You know what I said earlier, Alex? Just let's okay. wait. So here we go. So we have them kind of talking over in the corner, which is almost like equivalent to like a confessional. The confessional is kind of giving us a little bit more insight to what's going on in the scene. But instead of using a confessional for that, they have something even better, which is Bethany and Ramona talking about how she's a little bit, you know, spins out of control and goes <laughs> one way to another. And then, of course, what are they going to do? They're going to cut to Kelly doing some weird hair touching stuff, which is just kind of describing the points that Ramona and Bethany are making. Not waste energy on it. She's not going to get it. It was between them and you were I like, I don't care. Hey. I wasn't a part of it. 
And you were getting but in. You were telling them to zip it. You were she talking, couldn't hear. and they were trying to no. talk. She told me before that she was harassing Bethany about all these things. Well, those are her feelings, and she's going to discuss them right now with Bethany. Yes, and her feelings. Oh my God, this, this is, is free to be you and me, 1979. Today, like, <laughs> okay. So yeah, we have gone there. So did you guys hear what happened to the music when she said all that free to be you to me? Her feelings. Oh my God, this, this is, is free to be you and me, 1979. Today, like pure silence. All of us are Alex in this moment right now going, wait, what did you say? The music stops because they really want to make a point and tell us like, yeah, we've, this is where we are. Like, to be honest with you, Alex, today I saw this incredibly vulnerable, so, you have so much pent up anger and anxiety, and I just wanna like, That's I just it. want you to be beautiful. And tonight when I saw you like all relaxed, I just yes. want you to be I beautiful just had a massage. and yeah. relaxed. Massage. And can I say something, actually? You can say anything you want. Okay. I was afraid. This moment has always triggered me because <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I've been around people in my life before that have been crazy and who have said things to me that are not true about myself. And they're like telling me this thing, like it's fact and like, like they really, they're like disguising it as like, I want to help you. But it's like, I can't even think of like an example right now, but I just know this has happened in my long life and I'm feeling it so hard. And when they cut to Alex and she's looking like, actually, I'm fine. What are you saying about me? This is crazy. I'm not pent up anger and anxiety. I mean, maybe she is. I have no idea. But you just get that feeling where she's like, you're going to be telling me about myself? No, 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 no. And it's so weird because when you're in situations like that and people are telling you and, and you know it's futile to like try to argue with them. So the best you can do is to really just be like, nah, I don't agree but anyway and i forget what alex does but i guess we'll see it here. can i say something actually you can say anything you want i was afraid to get in front of your camera i was i didn't know what would happen with me alex is having nightmares about me while i'm having no, nightmares I'm about Bethany i killing you. Know, i'm to get in front of the camera because you know very let's, let's not over dramatize i'm not having nightmares i was having nightmares i haven't I so again like the music starting to come in like we're not even talking about Alex and her issues anymore right now. We are totally going into crazy land. She, you know, Kelly took the conversation from like what could be just like a friendly like conversation between two women to all of a sudden like I'm having nightmares about Bethany. I'm having nightmares. It's all about me. And the music is starting up. So we as an audience are like, oh, yeah, I, I forgot what we're focused on here. I haven't. I threw up. But I was. I threw up the night before I came, oh, shh, thinking that Bethany Alex was going to freaking kill me. Because she's tried to kill me so many times before. When has she tried to kill you? Kelly, it is about her. We're talking about her right now. We're talking about Alex. Okay. <laughs> okay, that cut was so weird to me. They had sort of this shot, the shot that we've been seeing the whole entire time, which is Kelly, you know, and she's talking about, you know, that she had a dream that Bethany's trying to kill her because she's tried to kill her so many times before and then they go to Alex and Alex is like when has she tried to kill you and then they have this other shot that's kind of more from Alex's point of view where Kelly looks in it she's in this world wherever she's living in her head and she's sort of like feeling this moment but they got this different shot which I thought was really interesting definitely more of Alex's POV than us from the outside looking in no, in front of your no, camera I, you know okay. that, if Let's you're if what? you have no if you have any kind of fears about being in front of my camera that's an issue there are times when you just kind of seem to go a little crazy and you kind of go on the attack you made yourself you do. Go camera, and anybody's camera. No, she's it's scared. like you channel these weird people. I was scared. She's a I was scared. What did she do? Oh, we don't know. It's hard to follow this conversation. Oh. The night. <laughs> okay. So, of course, they have to leave that line in there of Sonia because uh, we are feeling this. Like, did everyone go, let's just go, me, me too, <laughs> me too, because what is happening? Like, it's jumping all over the place. This scene to me is an editor's dream because there's really no building or jumping around that needs to happen. They're literally just letting this all play out. I haven't seen any like really weird cuts go on. I've talked to you guys before about like the concept of a bad edit and how there's so many people that can't say they got a bad edit because there was no editing. This is a great example. What, what has the situation? to do with your life? Just 
can you just zip it? <gasps> Whatever happens. Could you stuck with the second zip it? <laughs> because I'm like, you're going to go in the zip corner. Oh, I'm okay. listening to you right now. Okay, well, let's go. go. So right now, we go. were all standing there out of the freaking blue. Alex decides to say, and by the way, Jill Zarin, I want you to know, and this black eye makeup and white face. Okay, she, she was in make, hair and makeup at your party to deliver the message in evil and her evil role. She was a kabuki. So you weird what's happening. Oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't watched this scene too long. Like I need to watch this at least weekly. But as Bethany's coming back to her and saying like, she's just in regular hair and makeup, the shot they get of Kelly is just priceless. That is such a, like a creepy, insane shot. I'm sure the editors were doing this just being like, oh my God, is this gold? Gold. I was like, Holy she, was she was like channeling, like, I don't know, like a vampire. Now me, now it's my turn to be attacked. I don't understand. I don't know who this Kelly is, but it's a little scary. You know what? She's eccentric. We should get into this. I'm not eccentric. She sees I'm real. Differently. And I changed because we went to a club afterwards. Yes. You went to a nightclub? You know what I said? You just give up. And you can't beat it. Like, no. Join him. I was really concerned because Alex, you know, did something that was really inappropriate. <laughs> okay, so now they're just kind of letting Kelly like run and spin her mouth out. And so as the editors are just having fun with showing reaction shots, reaction shots of Ramona, reaction shots of Bethany, reaction shots of Alex's eyes getting wider. Everyone is us in this scene except Kelly. Should we have you? Dude, I'm taking a time out too. This is weird on me. I have to sit here and support this. You don't want anything. We're just taking a minute. We're taking a time out. Alex wants to fix our hair. You guys are leading me to do this? That's not fair. What are you upset about? I'm not sending my hair. Oh my god, it's a witch hunt. They're like a witch hunt. It's like freaking Hades in here. You just told Alex she was kabuki with white makeup. You like insulted her tonight. So I didn't insult her. Okay. So there was a kind of a weird cut, right? So everyone walked away and then they had Sonia kind of talking to, <laughs> talking to Kelly and she's like this. And then all of a sudden they cut to her being like, you insulted her. I'm sure there was a little bit more in between there, but obviously they have to move the, the, the scene along. Beautiful thing on the beach today and you wiped it out with your comments, which you don't mean. I don't think you mean it. I think you're very defensive and you don't mean it. Alex you had crazy. Look today. What did I do today with Alex? I wiped off her makeup. Right. Because it's scary. Kelly, you told people tonight that she's telling the devil and that Bethany was going to kill you in your sleep with a butter knife. Mm -hmm. What are you talking it. about? You are like getting no, weird. I'm not. I'm not yes, I you are. Her. I feel like I'm. Okay. So in all of those kind of cuts, you can kind of see they're doing a lot of like cutting from different angles and all over the place and far away and pushing in. It's to mimic what's going on for us, but also I believe they're doing a little bit of showing kind of what's going on in Kelly's mind. It's just this one shot, the two shot of the two of them, right? But it's all sorts of stuff coming from all over the place. I feel like that's what they feel like is what's going on in Kelly's mind a little bit, kind of like um, synapses are uh, firing crazy. I'm not, I'm not, yes, I you are. Her. I feel like I'm always the one left with Kelly and that's fine. I'm there for her and I, I have real feelings for her, but it gets a little scary sometimes. So how many times have they gotten another housewife to talk about Kelly and say, you know, it gets a little scary sometimes. So hence, Scary Island. Wow! When you have a woman go after you in the press every single yeah, day yes. and try yes. to... Yes. So that little cutaway with them in the other room, that's literally just for us and for storyline. Like, this is the storyline right now. None of the things that Kelly are talking about, you know, Bethany or Alex's makeup or any of the weird stuff, like, this little cutaway with them in the other room is telling us what this scene is about. It is about Kelly becoming a lunatic, quote unquote, or showing what she is. If it's she, true, I no. don't have evidence, but if that's true, about my she children. went after my little girl. Are you sure it was her? Who else would it freaking be? Kelly, if you have evidence and you have And you want me to sit here with her? Did she cause you a freaking hooker? Oh, I thought that was funny. I didn't. She didn't really mean I'm a hooker. Do you get it? She doesn't really. <laughs> okay, you guys see that little cutaway to that angle kind of like with the palm tree in the foreground it's just kind of a more of a fly on the wall thing and also to show a little bit more scope of the scene they are all alone sitting there kelly's crying about something that 
is so like there's so much outlandish stuff going on Sonia is trying her very best to do what she can in this situation but it's like wow like we are a fly on the wall of something crazy I get that I'm not a doctor but something's wrong I'm worried for Kelly something's going on here that is beyond just us now I just want to tell you what this truth is what is the truth I want to hear the truth be quiet I want to hear the truth I want to hear the truth you can't handle the truth. I want. I can handle the truth. Make sure oh my God, maybe, Al Sharpton. Maybe Kelly's not getting enough. Al Sharpton. Oh, you need sex. No, put your hair sex. up. It's Al Sharpton. So as she's doing the infamous line, Al Sharpton. Of course, what are they gonna get? Reaction shots of the ladies going like. What the heck? Because again, we need an anchor in this scene. There is so much craziness going on with Kelly. We need as much anchoring as we can. And so of course they give us Alex's reaction. They give us Bethany's reaction. They have to anchor us in and say, it's not just you guys. Everyone's feeling the same way about this. Yeah, it's Al Sharpton. Now she's talking nonsense. Nothing is making sense. I just don't get it. It's getting really weird now. No, but Bethany, she's saying she went off the deep end with the then kids. Keep saying it. Why do you say it over and over again? Just keep like mantra. Go ahead. Keep I'm saying just saying, it. like, Nobody you got yourself in the paper. No, I never went to the press. Proof for evidence. She, you, she has no proof. You know what? This is a really lovely she, evening, she and I had a really it. lovely time. She did it. I'm going to excuse Okay, so now they're starting to show some reaction shots that are a little bit more serious. The other ones were sort of like light, like, oh my gosh, look at her. She's going crazy. And then now they're showing Ramona looking concerned, which if Ramona's looking concerned, we should all be concerned. This scene and the way it played out and everything that happened was probably a lot crazier than we even are seeing on TV. Incredibly delusional. I really believe that Kelly believes her own myth. I do. Why would I spend my time to put Kelly in the paper? What about when you attack Gwyneth, my friend Gwyneth? Who's Gwyneth? Paltrow? And what about Rachel? She's a comedian. Really? That's what she does. I'm out. I'm out. You guys, thank you so much. It was lovely. This is over. I want you to know, girls, there is a big problem here. No, she's damaged. Something has happened. What a nutbag. Guys. Do you want a jelly bean? So of course they kind of are like, now they're talking like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. The music, you guys, you have to hear the music. It's it's not like pushing us towards anything. I know I've talked to you guys about this concept before, but they usually use music when they really, really need it. In this scene, when you're watching it, you're not even really hearing the music. I know personally, I'm not. The music isn't really cueing me to anything. It's not pushing me towards any sort of like final, you know, this is what's happening because what's actually happening is the craziest thing ever. Like what she's talking about, the way they're cutting to everyone and then they cut her running out crying and now she's gonna be talking about jelly beans. Like they don't need music to dramatize this at all. This is dramatic on its own. Evil, I don't care. She, she, it doesn't matter. The food was delicious. Your she also thinks this good. one's evil and that she was dressed up. I don't up say she's evil. In, I said she was channeling. Channel. She's the channeling word was channel. The operative evil. word was channel. Channeling the devil you know in the same sentence I was angelic. I'm feeling sorry for Kelly exactly. right now. Because something's happening here. I she feels sorry for you because you're crazy. She's awesome. She, she, awesome. Thinks, she thinks something's wrong with you. I do. Like okay. you're absolutely crazy. Okay, I'm crazy. Something's happening Okay, so the music's starting to come in now. As soon as Kelly admits... <laughs> yes i'm crazy like and i know she's doing it kind of like facetious but as soon as she does that the music comes in okay i'm crazy something's happening here something huge is coming like all of this craziness before was just sort of vamping if you guys know what that is like on the piano vamping dun 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 like we're waiting 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 and now we are about to hit the up ramp we thought it was bad before but you guys have no idea as soon as she starts to explain like yes that is what i am we're getting into it we all think you need to get help there's something wrong with you yeah, because i don't like you <sighs> That's not an illness. You, your no, dad please. passed away and you're no. like here? It's creepy. It's like, Why do you look creepy? It's it's like so that music actually went away after they said that. And then now we're back to sort of this like that haunting sort of like suspenseful music again, which is interesting. I went away so as my mother passed away. My mother died on a Friday. Don't ever tell anybody that, Ramona. That is a, uh -uh. The four of us are actually sane and she's um, crazy and now we're picking on her, okay? Okay, let's she stop. She has a problem. I feel like you're trying to kill me every night and I threw up. She's paranoid. The night before I came. Because I don't want to be a part of this. Go to sleep! Go to sleep! Okay. You're crazy! Go, go to sleep! No, don't be mean to her. 
<laughs> I love how they picked that reaction. Well, they didn't pick it because it was the reaction, but I love that reaction of Kelly looking like they're the crazy ones. After all this nightmare, the big takeaways kind of so far are like the music are not really pushing us toward any sort of like resolution or feelings. There is sort of like that little vamping music in the background. Sometimes they bring in some other stuff in certain spaces, but like for the most part, they're just really letting this play out. I can't remember, but I do believe that Kelly did say that this was cut weird. I just want you guys to know from an editing perspective, they are not cutting that much. There's some cutaways going on and maybe some little like jump cuts within the conversations, but for the most part, they are just letting that camera run and letting her respond right away. Yeah, it's reality TV. <laughs> So they end on her eating jelly beans and they also end on Bethany and Sonia. Sonia is giving the crazy look and Bethany is actually giving the concerned look, which are the two things that they want us to feel after this scene is done. Concerned and wow, she's a little bit off. This season of Real Housewives to me, this was like, this was just the OG time. I know Roni's gonna come back better than ever. I just remember this time so fondly and these types of scenes, I don't know, we just, we don't see this much anymore. We see a little bit more produced version just of the ladies in general because Housewives is so much more known now that the people that get on the show actually know, you know, what they're getting themselves into. But I do believe back then this was a little bit more like, we really were more flies on the wall of stuff that was really going down and I miss it, but it's all good. I still love all the shows and I will continue to watch them. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully I will be back live in front of you guys very soon. And I really appreciate subscribing, liking, doing all the things and give me your comments because I'm sitting on a hospital bed. Um, I would love to be reading your comments. Until next time. Go to sleep, go to sleep, you're crazy. Okay.